You have a 20,000 gallon pool and you need to raise the free available chlorine from two parts per million to 20 parts per million. How much calcium hypochlorite do you need to add? Our label instructions read two ounces will increase the free available chlorine level by one part per million in 10,000 gallons of water. From our label instructions, we take the label dose amount. From our label instructions, we take the dose rate gallons and also the part per million increase. Then we add our actual pool volume. Finally, we add our required change. We're at two parts per million. We want to be at 20 parts per million. 20 minus two is 18. We want to increase the chlorine level by 18 parts per million. We divide our actual pool gallons by our labeled dose rate gallons. 20,000 gallons divided by 10,000 gallons is two. We have 10,000 gallons of water two times. To get a one part per million increase in a 20,000 gallon pool, we would need to add two ounces of calcium hypochlorite two times. We then take our required change and divide that by our labeled dose rate change. Our required change is 18 parts per million. Our labeled dose rate change is one part per million. 18 divided by one is 18. We want to increase the chlorine level by one part per million 18 times. Next, we multiply from left to right. Two ounces, our labeled dose amount, times two, the amount of times we have 10,000 gallons of water, times 18, the amount of times we want to increase the free available chlorine level by one part per million. Two times two times 18 equals 72 ounces. Calcium hypochlorite is a dry chemical. We want to convert this to pounds. There are 16 ounces in a pound. 72 divided by 16 equals 4.5 pounds. The answer is 4.5 pounds. You have a 35,000 gallon pool and you need to raise the free available chlorine level from zero to three parts per million. How much sodium hypochlorite do you need to add? Our label instructions read, 10.7 ounces will increase the free available chlorine level by one part per million in 10,000 gallons of water. Our label dose amount is 10.7 ounces. Our label dose rate gallons is 10,000 gallons. Our label dose rate change is one part per million. Our actual pool gallons is 35,000 gallons. The required change we're looking for is three parts per million. We're at zero, we want to be at three parts per million. Three minus zero is three parts per million. We then divide, going down, 35,000 gallons, our actual pool gallons, divided by 10,000 gallons, our label dose rate gallons, gives us 3.5. That tells us that we have 10,000 gallons of water 3.5 times. To get a one part per million increase in this 35,000 gallon pool using sodium hypochlorite, we would need to add 10.7 ounces 3.5 times. We are not looking for a one part per million increase in this example, we're looking for a three part per million increase. So we need to divide the required change, three parts per million, by the one part per million, the labeled dose rate change. Three divided by one is three. We want to increase the chlorine level by one part per million three times. We multiply from left to right, 10.7 ounces, our labeled dose amount, times 3.5, the amount of water we have in tens of thousands of gallons, times three, the amount of times we want to increase by one part per million. 10.7 by 3.5 by three equals 112.35 ounces. Sodium hypochlorite is a liquid measure. We need to convert that to gallons. There are 128 ounces in a gallon. 112.35 divided by 128 equals 0.877 gallons. The answer is 0.877 gallons. You have a 15,000 gallon pool and you need to lower 
the free available chlorine level from 15 parts per million to 10 parts per million. How much sodium thiosulfate do you need to add? The label instructions read 2.6 ounces will lower the free available chlorine level by one part per million in 10,000 gallons of water. 2.6 ounces is our label dose amount. 10,000 gallons is our label dose rate gallons. One part per million is our label dose rate change. Our actual pool gallons is 15,000 gallons. Our required change is five parts per million. We're at 15 parts per million. We want to lower that to 10 parts per million. 15 minus 10 is five. We divide 15,000 gallons by 10,000 gallons. Our actual pool gallons divided by our label dose rate gallons. 15,000 divided by 10,000 is 1.5. We have 10,000 gallons of water 1.5 times. We then divide our required change by our label dose rate change. 5 divided by 1 is 5. We wish to lower the chlorine level by 1 part per million 5 times. We multiply from left to right our label dose amount, which is 2.6 ounces, times 1.5 times 5 equals 19.5 ounces. 2.6 ounces are labeled dose amount. 1.5 is the amount of times we have 10,000 gallons of water times 5. The amount of times we want to lower the chlorine level by one part per million equals 19.5 ounces. Sodium thiosulfate is a dry chemical. We need to convert that to pounds. There are 16 ounces in a pound. To convert 19.5 ounces to pounds, we divide 19.5 by 16. 19.5 divided by 16 is 1.218 pounds. The answer is 1.218 pounds. You have a 220,000 gallon pool and you need to lower the pH from 8.2 to 7.4. How much muriatic acid do you need to add? The label instructions read 12 ounces will lower the pH by 0 0.2 in 10,000 gallons of water. Our label dose amount is 12 ounces. Our label dose rate gallons is 10,000 gallons. Our label dose rate change is 0.2. Our actual pool of gallons is 220,000 gallons. Our required change is 0.8. We're at 8.2, we want to lower it to 7.4. 8.2 minus 7.4 is 0.8. We divide our actual pool gallons by our label dose rate gallons. 220,000 divided by 10,000 gallon equals 22. We have 10,000 gallons of water 22 times. We then divide our required change by our label dose rate change. 0.8 divided by 0.2 equals 4. We want to lower our pH by 0.2 4 times. We multiply from left to right 12 ounces our label dose amount times 22, the amount of times we have 10,000 gallons of water, times 4, the amount of times we want to decrease the pH by 0.2, equals 1,056 ounces.